what their properties were. Now to do that, they had to have a huge loudspeaker, which was on the ground, flat on the ground, strong enough to actually hold a rocket and be able to shake it and find out what its properties are. Jerome was there for many years. I left to go back to med school. But Jerome, I think he was at least 20 years there. And he, in 1969, he received a special award for uh, the Apollo Achievement Award, 1969. They eventually closed down the facility where he was working, and he was able to get a job at the Wright-Patterson Air Force Base in the Air Force, uh, in the, uh, Air Force uh, Laboratory there. And he continued to work on special uh, development of rocket uh, flight systems and also a test facility. He helped develop a test, test facility there at Red Madison Air Force Base. He, after he retired, he, he decided, uh, retired from being a civil servant, he decided to form his own company called STAR Research. And he's doing so many interesting work in this area that I think he'll never retire. He's like the, the little ever-ready bunny that just keeps running. <laughs> now, he's the same age as I am, 80 years old, actually one day older. <laughs> but uh, he's, I don't think he'll ever stop. And why not? He's, he's doing so much interesting work. One, one of these projects, for example, is to develop a, a vehicle in orbit that can take objects in orbit from one orbit to another level. It can also take things from an upper level on down. For example, there's a lot of space junk that's floating around uh, the Earth, and this vehicle could go there, pick it up, take it to a lower level, down low enough where eventually it would uh, burn up in the Earth's, Earth's atmosphere. So uh, he, he has written many interesting papers, not only about the work that he's doing, but he's got a lot of other interests. For example, you may have heard of an organization that's called the Searching for Extraterrestrial Intelligence. Now this organization decided there were some one to 10 million planets like ours, just in our own galaxy, that we should be able to find some civilization. Guess what? We haven't heard anything yet. <laughs> <laughs> now Jerome wrote a very interesting paper about, about this, basically noting the observation that uh, our Earth and our Moon are really unique. There are not many planets like ours that have a Moon the size of ours, that they interact with each other. That's one of the very important parts of what, what you know, actually allowed tides and so forth, things to develop. There's some other properties about the Earth that are very unique. So Jerome's conclusion was that we may be the only civilization in our entire galaxy at all. Another topic that I'd like to talk with him, with, with you about, was a paper that he wrote regarding a space elevator. Space elevator. This is a, an elevator that goes up to an altitude of 23, no, 22,300 miles <laughs> up in the air. Can you imagine such a thing? Well, he did all of the studies to determine how would you build such an elevator, I mean, what kind of materials, and what the structures were, and so forth. The reason it has to go that high is because at that altitude, a satellite will, will go around at the same speed as the Earth rotates. So it's always going to be overhead. So if you build a tower at the equator, you just go straight up, and you'll be there. Now, Arthur C. Clarke, science fiction writer, you may remember Space Odyssey. <coughs> he wrote this book called Foundations of Paradise, in fact, which uses such a tower 
<laughs> and in fact, he learned about Jerome and he you know, called him up and talked to him about, with some technical advice, about the tower. And in the back of the book, Jerome is mentioned as one of the advisors that he had for this passing around in particular. This is a view of the tower looking at it from space. So um, I told Jerome, Jerome, when you launch that vehicle of yours down from Cape Canaveral, I want to be there. Just let me know. I'm going to show up. <laughs> <laughs> Someday he'll do that, I know. He is uh, still out getting new business. For example, in fact, he will be here in Colorado Springs in a couple of weeks. So I'll get a chance to talk to him some more and find out what he's all about, what he's up to these days. Jerome is really an interesting and inspirational person. And what is that word? Aspire. 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 I do aspire to be just like him. And I'm looking forward to seeing him. I'm glad that he's a friend of mine. Thank you.